Hello everyone, and welcome back to MC Eternal. In between episodes, I have done the base up. As you can see already, there's some windows that I needed to smelt some glass for, so they haven't been put in yet. But, most importantly, there are some windows. We also have these lamps around. I have a waystone, so I can travel home if I need to. Or I can travel back to my sphere. And, as you can see, we have our buttons. Let's say our elevator is at the top. Ooh, I should probably make this look pretty as well, right? Yeah, maybe I'll do that real quick. <laughs> maybe I'll quickly do something that I should have done before. Right now. Now this looks beautiful. Ah, right, it's beautiful now. So I can call my elevator with this button. I could just use that button that I can see there, but it's fine. So here we go. So I can walk in and just press a button. We'll go to the floor. As you can see, we have walls all the way up and lights. I can walk out here. This is the basement. So there's nothing in here yet, but I do have some plans. Obviously, like, cabling and all that will go under here. Maybe some automation for auto-crafting or something like that. Anything bulky that looks messy can go under here. I have a battery that I've hooked up with wireless energy, so... If we need to, we can hook off of here without having to go back to the base. Now, if we go to the not floor... So, we we're just on the floor. Now, we're not on the floor. Here we have all of our enchanting stuff. So, we have a tank here that we can use to repair our bauble. We can place the bauble in here, and we'll use the XP to repair it. We also... Oh, I'll put it in properly. We also have an arcane insorcelator, or something. Basically, it enchants books, so we can, I believe, press 4 on it, and we can see what it can do. If I put a rose book, I can get thorns, and it uses essence of knowledge, or... Well, yeah, just the essence of knowledge, but that is the same as liquid XP, but some things don't use it the same. But in this instance, it does. And we can have a look if we click Configure UI. I have it so this tank is outputting right here. So see how in the, this corner it says None here. But if I hover over here, it says Push. So it is putting XP into there. And to put XP into the tank, I have an XP drain on top. And you just stand on top. And it sucks XP out. And it puts it in the tank. Pretty simple. And we are all out of XP. But this is almost full. We also have our enchanter, which allows us to do what this does, but kind of better. This uses XP straight from us. It doesn't use our uh, essence of knowledge. And if we look at, uh, if we press 4, you can have a look at some of the things. Like, for instance, let's have a look at um, Fortune. Oh, I can't spell apparently. Fortune 3. Emeralds and Lapis to get Fortune. Now, that's in the Enchanter. The other one I don't think can even make Fortune 3. You can only make Fortune 1. Yeah, Fortune 2 made in the Enchanter. Fortune 1 made in the Arcane thing with a book and an Emerald. So it doesn't use the Lapis, but it can only do Fortune 1. It can't do the others. So, I don't know. It's weird things like that where it, it, it doesn't really make sense. But we've got them all. They all work. We have an anvil here so that we can combine stuff. Uh, to our left, we have all our machines. I've brought them over. Now, they're not hooked up. They still have power from where they previously were, but they're not hooked up to any energy. So, when we smelt or do something, they won't recharge, except for the resonator, I think. I think this guy will keep going because he uses a different network of power. We have some other tools over here, just off to the side. I thought I'd keep all the thermal expansion ones in a nice clean row. Now, over here is pretty cool. I brought our atomic reconstructor. Now, nothing's hooked up with energy yet, because I have a plan for that. And we, I brought over this energizer I have, which is pretty cool. It has a PowerPoint, but I can't seem to place it facing the other way. Uh, but what I can do here is, let's say I get some blocks of iron. Um, block of iron. If I get one, two, three, four, I can place them in this way, and then I can press fire. And it will actually do it for me. How cool is that? And it turns it into an Ori crystal box. I reckon that's pretty cool. These screens are very cool. I like them a lot. Uh, over here I just have my bed. And my arcane workbench with my magic wand. So that is that. So. To do with power. How are we going to work power out? Well. I think I'll try a different mod. As opposed to just my wireless things from Cyclic. Uh, I believe it is Flux Networks. Now, I have never used this mod before. 
but I believe what we need to start off with is Flux, which you get from putting Redstone on top of Bedrock and then dropping Obsidian on it, which is with a left click. And then you get this. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We will go back to the... What's the best way to get here? The mob spawner, maybe? Go to the mob spawner, run down into our mine, and we should be golden. Uh, while I'm down here, I might actually make, if I can, I might make another waystone down here. So I don't have to run down this mine every time I want to get into my mine. Because uh, it is a long way, as you can see. And I'm not a fan of that. Uh, can I make a waystone real quick? Waystone. I need, I think I need purple dye. Do I have one purple dye? I do. That is helpful, because I can look up the recipe for purple dye like this. We need poppies. Uh, I'll just do, oh, I'll do three for now. I made an extra one. <laughs> Unlucky. Ah! Boom. Purple dye. Um, waystone. One of the, oh, one of these, one of these, and boom, we have a waystone in our mine. I can place this and call it mine. And we can open it up and we can bump it up. And I use this quite often, so I'll put it above the quarry. There we go. So, how do we do this? We're going to probably turn off, our, turn off our magnet. So we'll do that. Magnet off. Have obsidian here. Now... I believe I just dropped some redstone. Place the obsidian and left it. We've done it. We have a lot of flux. There we go. Uh, we'll leave the obsidian there. It takes too long. Let's go back to our sphere. The safety of our sphere. And go on to the, to the floor where we're going to hook up all this networking. So, how does this work? No idea. <laughs> Zero clue. Zilch. None. Nutter at flux. But essentially what's meant to happen is I set up a wireless network of energy. So I might need to actually go back to my other base because that is where our power generation is. So I can just go home. Here we go. Uh, power generation right here. Make it daytime. Perfect. Okay. So let's make a flux controller which requires flux blocks, which require flux cores, which require eye of ender and obsidian. Now we might struggle on that because we don't have much blaze. I'll make three for now. And we'll turn all of it into this. And we'll make, how many flux blocks do we need? One, two, three, four, five. Five flux blocks. Okay, we already need more. Hmm. Okay, I believe we have some blaze rods. Is there a way to get more? Pulverizer gives us four. Okay. Is that the best way to do it? Because we do not have much at all. I think it is. It looks like it is. This could give us five, but it's at a percentage. It could just give us two. So, I believe we have blaze rods, please. We do. We have a lot. I'm going to just use them all because that's how we are. Um, I'm going to get back over there. And hopefully we have enough power to get the power set up. And by that I mean uh, hopefully there's enough juice in this bad boy to get cooking. Alright. So, four blaze powder. Beautiful. Let's make four eyes of ender. Let's go back to the flux recipes. We want to make as many of these as we can. And essentially, we just want to make as many of these blocks as we can. We only made four. What? Oh, I didn't put the stuff back in. That's fine. That's fine. Here we go. We'll, we'll make five. We'll make our flux controller. We have a flux controller now. I'll grab that eight. That should be enough for now. We'll head back to our other base. This elevator is really cool. I'm a big fan. Big fan. <laughs> it 
Big fan. Okay. Flux controller. Let us hook it up. Do, 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 do. Um, here. Flux controller. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Please, please select a network. Network selection. Create new network above. Create new network. Do streams network. Um, let's just rename it something smaller. Let's call it network. Oh, network one. No password. Public. Yellow. Create. We have a network. Please select a network. Network selection. Network one. Network one. Name. Flux controller. Priority zero. Transfer limit. 800,000 output, buffer, surge mode, disable limit. I'll disable limit. Chunk loading. Yes, I think. <laughs> I hope. Wireless charging. Okay, so we can wirelessly charge everything. Apply. Okay. So now, I believe we want to make a... For adding energy to the network, we want a flux plug. So we want one of these, which we can't make because we need another block. So we've made a block. Now we get a plug. Ooh, we need one more flux core, it seems. Which needs one more eye of ender, it seems. Flux core, flux core, flux block. Here we go. We've got a plug. No, we don't. Why is... Where are all our cores going? Flux core. Where are our cores going? They're disappearing again, right? You know, I... Mm, they might be in our sugarcane farmer again. Because I took... I made some paper earlier. No, they're not. Okay. This is bad. Something to eating our things. <laughs> Something to... <laughs> our network, it's... It's got a mind of its own. It's eating. Okay. We've got to find... Double click. At flux. Um, come on. Luckily, this feature of, uh, whatever we're using, I don't even know what this is, JEI, just enough items, makes it very easy to find rascally missing objects. It's like we haven't made them. But we have. Right? I did make them, yeah? I'm not going crazy. Okay, let's just... Let's at flux. I'll make more, and I'll keep them in my, in my inventory. Oh! No, wait. No, it's only four. Yeah. So I'll make one. I'll make four of these, and I'll hold on to them. And we'll make a block. Okay. And... We need to make the plug. No! Oh, that's the problem. I'm... I'm not smart. I keep making them into blocks. Why do I keep doing that? Oh my god. You guys are probably roasting me in the comments. That is embarrassing. Oh my god. What a... What a fail. That was... <laughs> okay. Place this here. Select the network. Network 1. Disable limit. Buffer, 18,000. 18,000 RF for tick. Chunk loading. This chunk is already a chunk loader. Okay. Wireless charging. Apply. Okay. Input. Output. Members, settings. Okay. I think it's hooked up. I, I'm not sure why it's going crazy. But it's hooked up. So, I think... I'm not sure, but I think if I come over here... We head up to the floor. Right here. Um, we make ourselves a flux point. Which is gonna... Um, I make one of these. I make some cores and I don't turn them into a block. 
Whoa, I had to stop myself there. You saw. You saw. I was tempted. I was, <laughs> I was tempted. Yeah. Flux point for removing energy. We have a flux point. Okay. Now, what are these other ones? Flux configurator. Flux configurator. Flux storage stores energy. Oh, these are pretty cool. Can I afford one of them? Can I afford you? Glass pane. Do I not have... Is it special? Oh, we do have glass panes. So it's just the flux blocks. We need four flux blocks. Which needs... Let's see if we can do this. Now, this might be a bad idea. I need six blocks total. Six blocks. Flux tank. Flux storage. So, here, let's pick up this. Um, does that intake? No. Because I have a wireless uh, energy already traveling here, so I'll leave the battery there. We will place the... Here, let's let's go up top because I, I just want to place it down and see how it works. <laughs> so if I place this here, and select network one, apply, and we can chunk load this, disable the limit. Okay. Interesting. Um, what do we use? We use the pulverizer. Okay, it's getting power. We can have a look at the network connections. We're getting 80 RF in and taking 80 RF out because this uses 20 RF. Hmm. Is this limited to 80 RF? The limit is disabled. Maybe that's just how much it happens to be doing. Alright, we can also... So, so, we could put this on all of them, and that would be it, done. We could connect a wireless RF transmitter. Ooh, actually, and we, and we might crash, because we have wireless... We have this... Extra Utilities was acting weird on me with the wireless RF. So, I, I'm scared to do that. I could do it, and if it crashes, it crashes, and we know for sure... Maybe I'll just do that. We're just gonna we're just gonna YOLO it. So I could do that. And now that should power them too, I believe. So if I get some stone, uh some cobble. If I get a stack of cobble. It's being maintained by this. And we haven't crashed. So that's a good thing. <laughs> right? But then if I have that, then I don't oh, then I don't even need this. Because that does them all at once. As you can see here. It does them all at once. And it does 80 RF a tick. So as long as these are not using 80 at a time, it keeps up. Uh, <laughs> right? I mean, the thing is though, this does wirelessly charge me up as well. As you can see, I'm fully charged. And I used the drill. So maybe, maybe we still use this, but maybe I use it differently. And I, for instance, place it in the floor somewhere, or like in the roof. Yeah, let's go down to the floor. Where can I place this? I kind of wanted to place it in the roof over there, like um, where this lantern is. But then everything gets dark. And stuff could spawn here. Um, I wonder... Does this work? <laughs> the answer is no. The answer is that does not work. It all has to be the one. Um, do I even have that block? Because it was chiseled. Let's go down to the floor. Let's go down to the ground, I mean. Back up to the 
Very top? Yep. We have our special block. Boom. They're all connected. Where can I put this lamp? I guess I can place it like here. Let me get another yellow lamp. We have one. It's perfect. It's meant to be. Place it here. And to activate these, you just right click them. How good is that? Uh, and we can place this here with some brick on top so that it blends in. Um, mm. Place another lamp on top. I probably could place a lamp where the thing was instead and that might be the better idea, but for now we're going to pretend like this looks better when it doesn't. I didn't want to place that. Ah. There we go. The more light, the merrier, right? Maybe. I'll fix it up later. I'll make it look pretty. So this is connected. This is wirelessly charging me. I am being wirelessly charged. My... Everything is being wirelessly charged. Is there a way to prove this? Um, I could make a battery or something. Do we have a battery? Could I make a... Another flux capacitor. Wait, let's let's search our battery because there are batteries that I use sometimes. These these batteries here. Can we make one of them? I use these in a couple of recipes, so I might as well make one to prove my point. So zero out of two hundred thousand. I take it. It's charging, but also. My backpack's charging. Look at that. How cool is that? It's just staying at 9 mil while it's charging. Oh, that's what that was when we were looking in the network. Remember, we were looking in the network. And here, we can turn on that as well. Click apply. Um, and it was saying that it was doing 18,000 RF a tick. And I wasn't, I wasn't sure why. It's because our backpack, if I hold shift, look at the left there. Send slash receive, so it'll send 9,000 RF, and it receives 18,000 RF, so that's what was happening. We were receiving the, the 18,000 RF required to charge up. That is awesome. So we now have wireless charging inventory. We have a battery downstairs. If this battery, if this wireless thing doesn't work, we can wire things up. Like, I'm sure something won't connect. I know, um, the, like the quarry, for instance, wouldn't connect to this wireless... Uh, transmitter, so we had to use different cables and stuff. So we have a battery down here if we need it. We're hooked up. We're, we've done it. We've got a beautiful base. Now we can make things perfect because we're we're bought. I say borderline set because I do want to, you know, move make stuff better. So now this entire base here is going to be a combination of power generation and actually no, just, just power, power generation and storage. I want to make a neater storage system than this. <laughs> this is really sketch. I want to get more compacting drawers because what these let us do is they compact stone into compressed cobblestone and double compressed cobblestone. But if I were to put like redstone in there, then it would make redstone and redstone blocks. And then I wouldn't ever have to craft redstone blocks as long as I had enough redstone to make a redstone block. This would automatically do it for me, is what I'm pretty sure it does. So that's cool. We have to open these at some date, all these chests that I've gotten. Uh, the smeltery... The smeltery could probably stay here unless we think of another cool design, a cool place we can put it. That might be a good idea, making some clear glass. Oh, I've got to put clear glass in the building as well. Uh, this tank that we've got. How does it work? Ah, oh, okay. Check out this. I think I don't have to connect it. I think I just have to click network and it will store power. What? Holds a million RF. So it doesn't hold a, like a lot, you know what I mean? It's not that amazing and it's kind of visually bugged. Okay. Okay. <laughs> But it looks cool, and that's all that matters. Right? Transfer, it does 20,000 RF a tick as well, I think is what that means. So that's pretty good as well. Okay. 
So, now I want to go through, and for each thing, so like for anything that's powered wirelessly using these uh, these things, I want to name the GPS markers. So, as you can see over here, I've named the battery that's in my basement, the screen controller that controls the screens, the elevators, the so the bottom elevator or whichever elevator, I think it's the middle one that has a uh, RF going to it, I'm not sure. And then the rest of these GPSs, no idea what they're for. We have to go and look at them individually. We have food production, energy production, food production. Oh, we've got an actual backlog now. This is awesome. And all these batteries are full. We are full. I think uh, in an upcoming episode, I want to make these spawners look pretty. So I might make a... Uh, oh, look at 42 ender pearls. Don't mind if I do. I want to uh, set it up so that they look better. This spawner I can get rid of because it's just a skeleton spawner. And it's, it only spawns when I'm close. So if you have a look in here, this has been running the same length. The diamond chest plate is good though. I can melt that down probably. Maybe. Smelt it or something. That's been running maybe longer than this. And this has... <laughs> this has... A lot of wither skulls for me. Thirteen. That is beautiful. Look at all these. This entire side, at least, is from this. Enchanted books. Everything else I've got going into a trash can because we've gotten so much stuff. Look if we search wither. We have 3,000 wither ash. That is insane. Do you know what wither ash is used for? Nothing. <laughs> At least nothing that I know of. It's useless. It's useless to me at the moment. And I've got 3,000 of it. And over there, my skeleton spawner does nothing. Look at this. It's beautiful. And this is using power, and our power is, like, full. So that's awesome. Uh, this farm looks alright. We, we could make it look better. So yeah, I want to, like, place these inside of a, a sphere, maybe. Have, like, little spheres next to my big sphere over there with just mob spawners in them. So an enderman spawner... Uh, the with a spawner, with the skeleton spawner, and whatever other, whatever other spawners we need. So what I might do is I might like try to make a design, either in an episode or between episodes, and then we can have an episode where I build the other ones and show you how I've got it all set up. So we can go through each of the uh, spawners. That is awesome. I am extremely happy about this build. I'm glad that we are finally out of the basic build. Can I call this a pretty build? Am I allowed to do that? So, <laughs> someone in the comments flamed me because I called my beautiful cobblestone base pretty. <laughs> Here we can, uh, we should be able to get our clear glass. Oh. Clear glass from Tinker's Construct is beautiful. It's literally just sand in the, um, in the smeltery. And it comes out clear. It has a little border around it, but that is fine by me. It is way better than normal Minecraft glass. And look at this. We have some natural light. These lamps, I'm, I'm a fan of the lamps, but I'm not a fan of where I've placed them all. So I might even do like a ring, you know what I mean? Like just have a row of lamps all the way around it. It might look better. Or even just in the middle, do something with a lot more lamps. That's my plan. So we'll go up to the top. See if there's any windows that we haven't finished. I don't think there is. Nope. We have our window set. I might do something on the roof, maybe. Uh, yeah. Overall, I'm happy. I am very happy. And finally, we can actually see everything. Look, we can see our village over there. We can see our house with our solar panels. The spawner. The first house I made as a template. Oh, look at how far I can see. I can actually see the machines over there. That is so cool. I didn't, I didn't know that. And and that spawner... Uh, I don't know. I like it, but I don't like it. It's chaotic. That's the only problem. And it looks ugly. <laughs> so we might dump it all together. And a quarry. Which... Ooh! We can finally work on the quantum quarry. So we'll either be working on the spawners next episode, or the quantum quarry, or something completely different. But those two are goals that I have. Right. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. 
If you did enjoy, let me know in the comments what in particular you didn't like, and I'll see if I can go about fixing it. If you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe so it'll show up in your feed, and if you want to be notified, make sure you press the notification bell.